Hi, I'm Amber from Little Elise Photography. I am going to show you how to create a winter wonderland picture even if you don't live in the cold. I live in sunny South Carolina and our cold is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the photo I started with and this is what I turned it into. So I'm going to show you there are so many freebies out there right now. I'm going to show you a couple of them and it's a couple of ways to do it. Florabella has a free snow overlay, um, Florabella Actions. Provisini has free actions that actually turn your photo into a blizzard photo. Here, I'll show you one real quick. Let's see, um, Florabella, let's try flurries. Alright, it's Provisini Passion Photography. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong and I'm sorry. I started off with a warm photo using her actions and they went gold looking so you have to start off with a cooler photo. So that's what Privazzini's actions look like. It's very cool. It looks like a blizzard. But that's not how I did it. So let me hit. So I actually did a couple of snow overlays. Captured by Carrie has two snow overlays that are pretty cool. I went with the Blue Earth Photography's freebies. She's got two snow overlays. I used hers and I used one of Florabella's. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, step one is I made this photo a little bit cooler using color balance. So I did a color balance layer and I pulled it down a little bit to make it blue. There, that's way cooler. So, and then I just flattened my layer. I don't need it anymore. I started off with a few gradient layers. Your gradient layers start with um, the colors on your color palette. I am using a, let's see, I'm using kind of a grayer color and a white. So you go and you create a gradient. If you don't have your colors set over here, that's fine. Just double click here double click on the gradient and you can change your colors. Mine are set for that gray color and the white. So I'm going to start with one below and you can make it bigger, smaller, make it more compressed down at the bottom. It's just kind of to taste. It depends on your photograph. I'm going to do another gradient layer. and I'm going to do this one to the side. So I'm going to get this little angle thing and I'm going to pull it to the side a little bit to where it's kind of creeping up the side. Let's see. What are you doing? It hates me at the moment. So I hit OK. It's very much to taste. It depends on your picture. And I create another gradient layer. Gradient. And I pull this one from the other side. Let's see. Cool. I like a little bit of the color showing through at the top. So I hit OK. Now you can select all of these and you can hit co Control or Command G which groups them all and you can create a mask over them. Then you can brush off with black which should brush off. Let's hit brush it off a little bit. I'm going to brush it off starting with 50% and over her eyes I'm going to go to 100% but I'm going to start off with about 50 Let's see, so you brush it off. Brush, brush, brush. When you paint with black, it reveals. When you paint with white, it conceals, I think is the saying. So I'm just going to brush it off here. Let's see, brush. So around the edges, I want that to be covered as well. So I'm going to go back to white. I'm going to color that back on there. Color, 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 color. So I want I want it on the edges a little bit, not a lot. On her eyes, I'm gonna go to a hundred percent, which I think I might end up painting a little bit white back on. So I'm gonna go. I like her eyes. Paint it off of her face a little bit, off of her. Actually, I'm gonna end up painting a little bit back on. I'm gonna go back to white, and I'm gonna paint twenty. 
back up and we want to paint about 20% opacity back on. So paint it back on because I went a little too far. See, so I like a little bit of it. Paint it back on. I've got a little bit too far much down here as well. So it's kind of all to taste. Pull it off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to pull it off a little bit more. Let's see. I want a little bit for that foggy, pretty look. Okay, so I pulled it off. A little bit off of her shoulders, done a lot. And I pulled right here, I don't like that, so I'm going to paint it right back on. Okay, so I painted it right back on. So that is the snowy layer. You can switch this to, it's on pass through right now, you can switch it to screen mode, which makes it wider. You can, piss, you can put it to overlay, which makes it weird looking, don't go overlay. I like pass through, so it's all on pass through. Um, and the next step is you need to grab your overlays, which I'm going to grab once Florabella. Florabella actually has one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to use four for this. Actually, I think I'm going to use six. I'm going to use six for this picture. So I'm going to pull it over. Okay, now stretch it as big as the picture. Hit enter. It locks it in. Now you're going to switch your blending mode to screen. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab two of the Blue Earth. BlueEarthPhoto.com. I'm going to grab two of her overlays. It's actually, I think they're real snow. They don't look like just fuzz. Oh yeah. So I really like hers. So hit enter. And you're going to turn it this one to screen as well. And I'm going to grab her other freebie as well. So two snow overlays because I want it to look like a blizzard. I'm going to pull this as big. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to change this blending mode to screen as well. Now we're going to grab all of the overlays, select all three of them, and you're going to hit Control or Command G again and group them, and add a layer mask because we're going to brush some of it off of her face. So we're going to use layer the black again. We want some of it still on her eyes, but not all of it. So I'm going to brush a little bit off of her face, a little bit off of her clothes, not all of it. We want some of it to stay there. A little bit little bit off of her little bare ear things. The only place we're going to brush completely 100% off is her eyes. Because she's my kid and I love her eyes. Let's see. So we're brushing it all off of her eyes. So, let's see. So it started off, let's take these layers off. It started off this photo. We added some gradient. Then we added the snow overlays from Florabella and Blue Earth Photo. And now I'm going to add just a simple action, just a foggy action, just to make it look. And I'm loving the new Paint the Moon actions. She's got one called Milk Frost. Let's see, Milk Frost. I think Milk Frost was the one I used, but don't hold me to it. Oh, yeah. Milk Frost, and it has this really pretty foggy look. I might paint a little bit off of her eyes again, but not necessarily. Let's see. I might get a little bit off of her eyes. Nope, I didn't take any of off of her eyes, so I'm going to paint back white. Paint back white. Yeah, I liked her eyes painted. So it started off. Let me hit revert. Revert. Started off this photo and I changed it to this pretty one. So, um, I hope this helped you and I will link up all the freebies that I showed you in this video. And happy holidays!